Hey everybody, how's it going? Alex here, and today we've got another Airtable demo where I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, simple product version tracking system. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to show you how the system works. Then we're going to take a look at how the database is designed and how um, it all works together with just a little bit of automation. There's nothing fancy going on. There's no make, there's no Zapier uh, integrations, just pure Airtable. So let's get started. So here we have um, our system. We have our clients. Um, we have our items, products, product version components. And right now we have just one product, product number one. Uh, there's two versions of it. One, which is the live version, uh, 1.1.2 um, with these components, the re two red scissors, one blue pen and one notebook. And uh, there's also a version 1.5 of that uh, product that is currently in draft status. And we're planning to release it on this date that only contains one notebook and 10 pieces of graph paper. So let's go ahead and now at a client i have my list of clients here john mike and taylor so john right now signs up for product number one and the system will instantly allocate the latest version to him the whole purpose of this of course is that john will stay on this version until further notice let's then uh create another one say mike and again let's allocate product one and you can see that Mike is now going to get 1.1.2, just like John did. Uh, but let's actually turn version 1.5 to live. And I can instantly now go ahead and create a new client. Well, rather add Taylor and yet again, allocate product one to him. And the system will instantly, because version 1.5 is the latest version, um, allocate the version 1.5 to him. We have retained the history of everybody else. So John and Mike, we know that they are on version 1.1.2. While Taylor, because he's a newer client, has uh, received version 1.5. So yeah, now let's take a look at how the database is designed. Okay, so picking up from where we left off, let's now take a look at how the database is structured. It's a very simple design. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to replicate this with relative ease. So we have our table of clients, very simple list of clients. There's no trickery. The only thing that's unique about it is that we have the link to client X products. Uh, this table right here, which basically matches the client and a product. If we had more um, products, we would simply need to create a new row here, matching uh, John with, uh, let's say, product number two. Um, so yeah, that's how it basically works. It's a very simple junction table. Uh, there's two hidden fields. Let me just show them very quickly. So first of all, we have the latest version name, and we're going to get into how we're getting the... Uh, uh, the the name here, the latest version. We're going to take a look at that. Then we have the version number, the latest version number um, in there. Next, we have items. So items, they're very simple. Essentially, it's just a list of items that has got a link to bomb components or product version components. This is this table over there uh, with a lookup uh, of the version also being present. Next, we have products. So within products, uh, again, very simple stuff. It's just a basic product. Uh, then we have the related versions, which links to products versions. Uh, then we have the latest version, and we're going to take a look at that. So the way that this is designed is that we're obviously um, using versions, the link to versions. Then we go by live date, and then we're only including uh, versions that where the status is set to live. And in the aggregation formula, we're 
uh, using the max function. Essentially, um, these versions will have the live date uh, assigned to them. And what this does, it brings the latest or the highest date, so to speak, uh, the max date. Uh, and it only does it for uh, versions that have got the status of live. Therefore, this um, will always bring us the latest live date, basically. Uh, next, we have uh, the version number from versions. So again, this is um, looking at versions uh, and it's pulling in the version number. This is a lookup field. And again, it's doing that for linked records where is latest, which is a formula uh, within the product version, contains the word latest. Okay. Next, we have pretty much the same thing um, where, where, where I basically duplicated this field, but instead of bringing the version number, I'm just bringing the name, but the other condition, the filtration condition remains the same. Um, finally, we have uh, this, which I should have renamed to, um, this should be clients X products, um, where you can see where this product has been assigned, um, to which clients basically here, uh, next we have, uh, product versions, uh, which is, um, essentially where a lot of the magic happens. Uh, first of all, we begin with just a simple concatenation of um, V, the um, hard-coded V, then the version number, and then space pipe, space, and then the product name. Um, then we have just a simple version number. Uh, it's not dynamic in any way. It's waiting for um, human input, so to speak. Then we have uh, product, which is just a link to products. Oh, we also have two hidden fields. Let me open those up. So what this does is it looks up the latest version that we were just discussing from here. Um, it looks up the, that, that field from the product. And thereafter, we also have this formula field, which is essentially the the most complicated thing I think about this whole project where all we're doing, and let me see if I can break this down very easily. Here we go. Ah, I'm remember sorry. Oh yeah, this is the knot, all right. This is the and. This is latest and that's it. So here, what this if formula does, there's a and component to it, which is right there. And what we're, what our conditions are, uh, they're very simple. The latest version from grade X subjects, which is, um, this, um, over here is equal to the live date. So the latest version of the product is equal to the live date of that product. And the live date is not blank. In that case, print latest. In any other case, just leave it blank. So here you can see easily that this live date is equal to the latest version from the product, the latest live date um, from the product itself. Therefore, this um, if prints the latest tag, so to speak. Next, we obviously have a, a single select with two options, draft and live. Um, and yeah, finally, we have the live date essentially being here. Uh, where uh, you're basically telling us when the live date of this project is, uh, of this product. And then we have BOM components, or you could say product version components, um, where you're basically telling us what products 
uh, what components make up this version. And finally, we have the client X product where essentially the version of that product gets assigned to that particular client after they've selected the product that they want to sign up for. Final table is product version components. Uh, very straightforward. We're basically um, first concatenating the item with an, a space X space and then the quantity. Finally, we we are assigning the version, uh, which links back to links back to product versions. Then we have item, which again just links back to items over here, and then we have a quantity field. So that was a quick rundown of the database. Now let's take a look at um, a tiny little bit of automation that happens, um, which essentially prints the latest version against that client X product combo. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a look at this one little automation that runs in the background. And this automation, all it does, it is the one that actually prints the product against the client. It's this one over here. So watch this version attached field, see what happens. So I'm right now going to input product one and Airtable is instantly going to print the version 1.5. So what is actually happening here? I'm asking Airtable to take this value and simply Pay, uh, copy it and paste it into this um, linked field. Um, and the way that I'm doing it is super simple. Like I said, I'm using an Airtable automation over here. The, my trigger is based on when a record matches conditions within client X products uh, table, and the conditions are super simple. Uh, when version allocated is empty, this field then and latest version name from versions is not empty this field so and this exists and this doesn't exist that triggers the automation and the action of the automation is actually very simple all you have to do is just update that same record in clients x products record id air table id the record, um, the Airtable record ID from the previous step, and within version allocated, just printing the latest version name value. Um, essentially, this looks like this. If you're trying to set this up, press the blue button, Airtable record ID, and then version allocated, and then press again the blue button and search for version latest version name and then the value like so so that's basically it um now let's take a look at how the whole system works very quickly um i'm going to create a new client call him jimmy i'm going to create let's say another new product let's say product two and I'm going to create a new version for that product. Version one, product number two. It is right now in draft. We're planning to release it. And March 31st. And let's add some bulk beyond components to it. Add a new product. And I'm just going to choose an item. Uh, maybe a notebook, quantity of three. And I'm also going to assign here that I want a green pen, creating a new product. Green pen, quantity of five. Simple as that. So let's turn this version as live. And now... I'm going to go into my client X products. 
use my new client, Jimmy, and product, he's gonna be on product number two. System pool should instantly, there we go, tell me, uh, I should print version one. Now let's say I have a new client, Barry. I am going to then, um, let's say introduce a new version or product number two. And at this point, maybe it's a good idea to group this by product so you can see what you're working with. So product number two, I'm ver working on version 1.1.0, for instance. And this is going to be in draft for a while. And I'm just going to, let's say, plan to introduce it on the 30th of April. So about a month later, let's add some components to this. And you know what? I actually want to take all of these components, copy paste them. And I'm also going to add an extra component, which is, let's say, a blue pen with quantity of three. Perfect. So now let's turn this live. And this is now my latest um, version uh, for product two. So I'm going to choose Mary. I'm going to assign product two to Mary. And Mary should get version 1.1.0 of product number two. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.